it's the mobile home diva coming to you with a video a highly requested video we had a subscriber that was some concerned about security um and she asked the following question i'm so rude thank you so much for clicking on this video this is christy and i'm the mobile home diva if you're new to the channel and you're interested in anything mobile home living whether it's mobile home tours mobile home lifestyles cook with me clean with me shopping blogs whatever mobile home you have found the right place make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time i upload a video see thank you for watching and let's get back to the video question uh if i can find it <laughs> she says i was wondering if you could do a video on how secure these homes are example the front and the back doors are they made of wood or metal and do do the windows have any security features etc and so i just wanted to share with you my experience as i've been in the home she said what security measures do most people take to keep themselves safe while living them living in them i only ask because i'm falling in love with the thought of purchasing one but i'm a young mother and my parents along with many other family members claim these homes are easy to break in is that true i would love for any response you can give me as as i would love to prove them wrong so we have a new manufactured home we didn't buy it used we didn't buy it from someone else so we know that all the material in here is new it's upgraded it's past inspection um, and our house is really secure. So this is my front door. And as you can see, it's completely sealed all the way around the door. It's a wooden door. It's very sturdy. We have two locks. The, we have a bottom lock and a top lock. <laughs> And it's a very sturdy, sturdy door. We all, you can see how it's sealed, how it has that, the strips to make sure that the, it's sealed so there's no, no air seeping in. And we also have a screen door, a storm door that has a lock. So when we're in here, we rest assured that somebody's not just going to easily get into our home um we also have a ring doorbell um i'm sorry it's raining out here but we have a ring doorbell that also assures us security it's locked the doors all right now the back door is made slightly different but you can still see that it has the i don't know what you call it the black that black around it helps to keep the air in makes it more energy efficient seals it when it's shut we don't have um we have two locks here this one go uh opens out um, but it, I don't know if you can hear the outside. I hear the outside noises. You couldn't hear them until I opened the door. Now this one has glass up to it. I actually have this open, um, in the daytime. So the air, light can come in. Okay, I can't get it. You're supposed to be able to push these two buttons in and then pull the window toward you, but I have nails. And I kind of got a feeling I might be doing it wrong. Uh oh, <laughs> you're supposed to pull it up and then pull it down. And this makes it easy to clean either side 
Um, or even if there's an emergency and I have to get out through the window, it makes it easier to get out. And there's also a screen here. So this is a really heavy, um, and then it just clicks back in place and then I can push it down and lock it. So every single one of my windows is like that, including my kitchen window, which is the smaller window. So I have um, two, four, five, six, seven, two, four, five, six, seven regular windows, and then the smaller kitchen window, and they all do the same thing. So I wanted to show you that as well, to show you that you have, this is a quality window. This is a nice window, it's heavy, it's sealed, um, you can push the screen out, you can pull the window down, you can, it locks back into place. Um, good quality windows. And the home automatically, as you've seen in the last video, comes with a year structural warranty and cosmetic, 30 day cosmetic warranty. So if you have any issues, I believe the window would be considered structural if something happened to it. Within the first 30 days, we had a window break and it was our era, but Clayton Homes came out and, and um, they took care of it, no problem. And as you can see from yesterday, anything that happens in the house, they come out and they've taken care of it since we've been here. So that's all I wanted to show you. But I wanted to say the security is not just up to the manufactured home bu bu um, builder, it's also up to you. Now, you have to take certain measures to make sure that your home is secure. One of the measures that we took is the ring doorbell. Anytime you come into my yard, from any area of my yard, the ring doorbell notifies me that there's motion and it continues to notify me the closer you get to the door. We also have cameras that face the back and the sides of our home and ADT protects our home with a, uh, a security system. We keep the security system on even when we're in the house. It just makes me be, feel secure being someone that works from home. So I encourage you to take the same type measures, right? I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this question. I can only verify our experience in the home that we bought. The doors are, are um, wooden doors. They both have two locks on them. They're very secure, they're airtight, and so is our, 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 our windows. But then we took certain steps to make sure that, that our home was secure past that. So here's how I would answer my family members. Take them to go visit the homes with you. Maybe it's your mom or your dad or somebody close to you that's concerned about your safety. Then they should be a part of the process. Let them go and look at the homes that you're interested in. Let them be a part of the process of you picking out the home that interests you. So they feel secure and they can ask all the questions that they need to, to make sure of the quality of the home that you're purchasing. This isn't my first home. This is my third home. I had a double wide first. Then we purchased um, a single wide and now years later, because I enjoyed my experience in my previous two homes, decided to purchase another manufactured home. And so I hope I've answered your questions. Um, yes, you can feel safe and secure in the home. I can't vouch for, um, I can't vouch for uh, purchasing a home from someone else that's already been lived in, but purchasing a new manufactured home, you shouldn't have a problem with security. All right, so we had one more subscriber question and um, she says, I assume you researched the various manufacturers and the dealer in your area to decide what to get. I live in Montana, so I haven't delved into whether there are any manufacturers within re a reasonable distance and also the dealers around here and their reputations. If you have any recommendations to pass on, I'd be grateful. So that is a great question. Um, and I've actually answered in a previous video, but I'll go ahead and talk about it here. So we live in a totally different area than we lived in 
when we were looking for a home. We moved to a, a totally different side of Atlanta. We were on the north side, and there were, were at that time we thought we were going to be living in that area. And there was one Clayton Homes about 112 miles north of us from our house. And so that's where we went. We viewed the homes. My husband wasn't 100% on board until we went and visited and he actually saw the homes for himself. We applied there and in a week or two, we had gotten a few approvals. So we went with the loan company that we wanted to go with and we stuck with Clayton Homes. We went through some issues and ended up moving to a Clayton Homes or using a Clayton Homes, a different Clayton Homes in Opelika, Alabama who actually brought this house across state lines. Um, so long story short, we didn't uh, shop around. We decided that we were going to go for it. We got approved and Clayton Homes is who we went with. Recently, since I started this channel and I started venturing out, I have found several manufactured home dealers within 50 to 60 miles of where I live now. And they are not Clayton Homes, or some of them are not Clayton Homes. And um, they have a different type of home, a different look to them. Um, do I wish I had looked around? Absolutely. I wish that I had have looked at all options before I made a decision. Am I happy with the home that I have? Absolutely. Very grateful, love my home. A lot of features in this home as to why I chose this particular home. So I, I, we don't have any regrets on that end. What we do regret is that we didn't shop around prior to making our purchase just so that we could be sure that we were getting exactly what we wanted. So that Sorry about that, my battery died. If your plan is to move to an area or even purchase where they sell or have manufactured homes, or even purchase one in your area, then that's my recommendation. To review all the manufactured home dealers within a certain mileage um, of your home. And it's really up to you how far out you wanna go. We went over 100 miles to, and eventually landed um, in Opelika, Alabama at that Clayton Homes, and they brought um, our home back across state lines. So. You want to research and see what's around you or what's around where you're moving. And you want to visit them. Take some time to visit them all. Make sure that you are satisfied with the price, the quality of the home, and all the little things about the home that is really going to sell you on making that purchase before you decide. Would I have gotten an approval and then switched to somebody else? Absolutely. If I had been searching and I got an approval at one location or one builder and then found a home that I liked before I closed or before the ball got started, I absolutely would. I'd try to take that approval there. Um, it's, it was our money we were spending and it's up to us how we want to spend it. So make sure you are doing what is absolutely the right thing to do for you. So I hope I've answered both of your questions. Thank you so much for submitting them. Thank you for um, watching this video and allowing me the opportunity to answer them as best that I could. Um, and you guys, you have a great day.